Hey, how you doing? Hey, Mickey. What do you have? Glass of water. Glass of water. Bang, bang, you are dead. Wake up, you moron. You got me. Come over here. Sit down. You remember Ivan? No. Guy you saw me talking to. This guy. Uh, this guy. Oh, yes. You guys had the little kiss. Very funny. What would you say if I told you he was going to rob your cousin? I'd say, what problem has he got with my cousin? Hold on. Hey. Hey, hey, gorgeous. No, I can't talk right now. What are you wearing? No, I mean underneath it. Great. Listen, I'll call you back, huh? Sorry. Who was that? Never you mind. Was it Ivan? Ooh, that's funny. You know, for a dumb yokel, you're a very funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and for an annoying dick, you're really an annoying dick. Well, it's a real shame, then, that I'm the guy with the powerful friends, and you're the little punk whose only friends is some fat weasel who drives a fucking cab! So, why is Ivan going to rob my cousin? Because I want you to kill him. What? He's angered Mikhail, Mr. Faustin. Offended him. He think he's stealing some paperwork from her mom. You catch him and kill him. Then we say it was just a robbery that failed. And what if I say I don't want to be your hitman? <laughs> that Mr. Faustin will be very angry with you. And your cousin. Hmm. Okay. I knew we would understand each other once I put it in this simple way. Now! Go wait for him by the car depot! Hey, gorgeous. Yeah, where were we? Okay, now listen. Let's talk about tonight. Catch you, asshole! in this country was fat and slow. You trying to rob my cousin? Vlad's a bomb and set me up. Huh? Vlad don't like you no more, man. There's nothing in this town. Don't do this for him. You're fast one, aren't you? You've run out of roof, D. 
dickhead. Get up. And once you're dead, you can't be all bad. Stay out of Hove Beach. Thank you. You won't regret this, man. I am out of here! Wanted to live anyway, get away from all these people from back home? Get into the real America. You're never gonna see me around here again. I owe you my life, man. You're a good man. You're a good man. Thank you. You won't be seeing your boyfriend Ivan no more. Oh, are you going to miss him? No, I'm not. I'm getting enough pussy at the moment. I tell you, it's so much better if women already have a man, because you don't have to deal with all this shit all day. Take Mallory, for example. Fuck you! You say this to my face and... What's wrong? Hey, cousin. Bullshit. What's bullshit? Mallory. Oh, what about her? I like her. I really like her. But you keep messing around with other women. Yeah. No. I think she's messing around with Vlad. I saw his car parked outside her place the other day. Yeah. You knew? I had suspicions. You fucking knew? What was I going to say? You knew my woman was banging this warthog and you didn't do anything? I didn't, didn't say anything? I didn't know. You're an asshole, Nikobelik! A disloyal user! After what I did for you, you dick! You fucking dick! I'm sorry! Screw you! All right, so you want me to deal with it right now? No. Sit down. No! I'm not going to stand here and have you call me disloyal. You might let some Russian asswipe bang your woman, but I won't. But you fucking did! That was before I knew you cared! You always were a hypocrite. Nico, wait! Don't do anything stupid! Wait for me! Tell me you're just blowing off some steam. You're, you're going for a little drive. You're going to leave Vlad alone, right? Don't do anything stupid, cousin. Nothing as stupid as letting that fat swine give it to Mallory. Hey, it happens. I, we, we have an open relationship. I do my thing, she does hers. Uh, maybe next time I might watch them at it. Oh, don't watch this fat, hairy, sweaty back going up and down. I can't take it. How could she do this? I knew you cared. Wait, Nico, you have to think this through. Stay out here. Let the big boys have their conversation inside. Give me a drink. Anyway. You got it. I say it. For the Why do you need to drink potato if it's a Bloody boy! I'd like a word with you. What are you doing here? Did I summon you? Boy, I told you to stay away from Mallory. Ah, go away! And now Roman is upset. Oh, Roman is upset. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you think oh, I give a fuck, man, peasant? Oh, there he is. Day. Hey, Fatty. I'm so sorry you're so upset. Day. Oh, poor fucking ho. <laughs> hey, Vlad, can't oh, we no. just talk about this? <laughs> you stay away from Mallory. I must be hearing things. I could have sworn for a minute this ratty little yokel told me what to do. <laughs> Did you hear that voice? Yeah. Now, get them out of come here. On, come on, come on. Get back outside, I'll woman. I'll finish you off. Oh.
right. He's running away. We win. Let's go home. I'm not walking away until this thing is finished. It is finished. He's running. We won't see him again. He'll come back. The only thing that will hold him down is six feet of dirt. Forget about Mallory. Plans change. And, you know, when Vlad is done with her, grow a fucking spine. You think Vlad won't come after us when I am chasing him like this? I have to end it. Here and now. Shit. I don't like this. Fuck. Fuck. Keep your head down. I'm going to finish this. Stop! Nico! Shit! You've killed yourself and your cousin, Yokel. You are dead, man. Fucking Yokel! You think you can get away with killing me? I guess I'll find out! You think this is worth it? You are throwing you and your fatty cousin's lives away for that bit of Puerto Rican chocha! I'm throwing your life away, prick! We'll do all right! My friends will track you down. You won't last a moment. I'll last longer than you will, shithead. Fuck you! I wish I could be there to watch Mikhail cut your peasant balls off. You've killed yourself and your cousin, Yokel. You are dead man. Mikhail falsely thought of me as a brother. He will get revenge. You are nothing in this city. Half Beach is a small place. My friends will find you. You were the stupid one, Vladdy boy. Nobody fucks with my family. Ah, you're a big boy, Vladdy. Nico! Nico! Ah. Well, I guess this is over. What have you done? What does it look like? We're dead! No, he's dead. We're fine. He has powerful friends. Serious people. I told you to be calm, you halted in jail! I am calm. He tried to kill us. He screwed your girlfriend. What do you expect? I give him a massage? Shit! Shit! Shit. <sighs> when I was in the army, we were going on the mission. To ambush a squad who killed a lot of innocent people. They were our enemies. But we never did it. There were 15 of us, all boys from the village. But one of us betrayed the group. It was a setup. For money. Twelve people died. We escaped. I know the traitor was not me. So for ten years, I've been searching for the other two. One of them leaves here. Why are you telling me this now? Do you always get sentimental after you kill people? You kept asking. Wonderful! You're here on some revenge mission for something that happened ten years ago? And you don't care whose life you ruin anyway? No. Well, what? I don't know. I just want to know why they did it. Well, right now, I don't think you're going to find out. Let's hide the body, at least for a while. Put him in the river. <sighs> if you're fast, then he's going to kill us. <sighs> Shit. We should get out of here. You go. I'll catch up with you later. <sighs> Ah. Uh. Uh. Uh.